Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Halloween, and I am about to leave the house in about, I would say like 15 to 20 minutes. I told Ryan since it is Halloween that I would bring him a lunch to school today. So we have to leave in about, like I said, 15, 20 minutes so I can go pick him up some lunch and then we can eat lunch with him. And then I have a few errands to run <clears throat> after I go eat lunch with him. So guys, I bought Madison a Halloween costume. So I bought this costume like a week ago when it was pretty cold outside in Georgia and it's still cold in the morning and at night. So I decided to go with a Care Bear costume because it was really warm and I figured she can be warm in it if it's super cold at night. And I just realized it's really a pajama, but it was in the costume section when I bought it. So I'm thinking about just bringing it back. I know it's Halloween. It's probably probably not going to find any of her sizes in anything, but I thought I would at least try. But this is what I bought her. I can't, it's hard to show you guys. But anyways, that's the hood part. And then it's just supposed to be like a Care Bear. And yeah, I'm doing a horrible job showing you guys. But anyways, it's really a pajama. So I didn't know that because like I said, I did grab it from the costume section. So I'm gonna bring it back, see if they have any type of like princess costumes or something that I can exchange that for. If I can't find anything, then that's fine. She'll just have to wear that. And she usually doesn't um, walk up to the doors anyways. I usually have to carry her. So I usually just carry her to a few doors. And the rest of the time she usually just sits in the stroller while Ryan does all the trick or treating. So won't be too big of a deal if I can't find anything for her because she still technically has something to wear. Also guys, do you notice I cut my hair? So I was planning on just trimming it, but I had so many split ends and dead burnt hair because I used a straightening iron and blow dryer a lot. So I went much shorter than what I expected, but I like it so far. So we'll see. I have to get used to it. But this morning I did my hair so fast, which is so good because you know a mom is always busy and never has time so i think i think it'll it'll work out i love it my friend angie cut my hair so it's good to have a friend who's a hairstylist because i can just come to your house she came to my house yesterday cut my hair for me so that is how it looks it's halloween so i'm wearing my hocus pocus shirt and yeah i'm gonna start packing a few things up because we have to go to the store after so let's pack mats and some snacks and then we will head out to probably pick up some Chick-fil-A and I will vlog a little bit from Ryan's lunch. Hey guys, so I'm sitting in the parking lot of Chick-fil-A because Ryan's lunch starts at 1045 and it's right now at 1020 and I try to get some lunch from Chick-fil-A but they said they're not serving lunch until 1030. So I have to wait in the car for 10 minutes until they start serving um, lunch and then race over to Ryan's school because Ryan's school is... I think exactly 10 minutes away depending on traffic so if i get the lunch exactly at 10 30 and leave like 10 35 chick-fil-a then i'm gonna get to his school at exactly 10 45 which is when his lunch starts and i always have to check in at the office so that usually takes a few minutes so i might be a few minutes late to his lunch so i'm gonna try my best to get there as fast as possible but it sucks because his lunch is so early so a lot of restaurants don't start selling lunch until like 10 30 or 11 so everywhere i go they say they're not selling lunch yet so i know chick-fil-a mcdonald's and like burger king they all start serving around 10 30 and then there is a bojangles but ryan doesn't really like bojangles we've only had it one time which we were in the same situation and they were the only place that was selling lunch before um 10 30 and he ate the food but he didn't like the seasoning on the fries and he didn't like the biscuits so that's why i'm just gonna sit here we have exactly nine minutes now so i'll probably be the first one getting lunch but that's okay anyways madison is a little cranky are you eating your shirt don't eat your shirt that's not good that's not yummy don't eat it okay you want some chick-fil-a too yeah i'm gonna get some food for um madison and i last time i brought him lunch i didn't bring lunch for me and madison i just brought lunch for him but this time i'm gonna get lunch for madison and i as well because straight after i leave his school i need to run some errands and i probably won't have time to stop and get lunch again so me and madison are gonna get some lunch as well and hopefully a line doesn't start there's no line right now it's pretty empty well one car is coming in but 
it's pretty empty so anyways i'm gonna stop rambling on and i guess i will just see you guys once i get to ryan's school i will film a, a few clips of us eating lunch ryan's together school with two minutes to spare madison is like screaming she's in a super bad mood i try to give her chocolate but it's not making her happy so now we have to wait two minutes for Ryan's class to come out and then we can have lunch with him. Can you just behave for two more minutes? Two more minutes, okay? And then your brother will come and you can eat. Ready? Good. Good, what are you eating? Amazing. Chick-fil-A. Uh, yeah. Nope, Madison. Well, Ryan was wearing a costume, but he got hot, so he took it off. <laughs> right? Yeah. You gotta eat your fruit too, okay? You have your friend with you? Who's your friend? Yeah. Hi. Hi guys, so I just left Ryan's school for lunch and I always feel so bad. So this is the second time that I've gone to eat lunch with him. The first time was when they had grandparents day and he cried. He cried again when I left and I always feel so guilty. So from now on, I'm gonna have to tell him that if he's going to cry every single time I come to eat lunch with him, that I'm not gonna be able to come anymore because it breaks my heart and I just feel so bad when he's sitting there in the line and crying because he wants to come home with me but he can't because right now it's almost 11 30 it's 11 28 and he gets out at 2 45 so he still has a little more time to go but I told him that I'll be right back to pick him up from school and then we will go trick-or-treating so that's the plan right now I'm on my way to Walmart and Target I want to go to Target because I have a gift card and I also want to check out the dollar spot again and see if they put any more Christmas stuff out and then just like look around and then also I want to go to Walmart like I told you guys I want to try to exchange Madison's Halloween costume let's see if we can find anything left so that is what we're about to do so I'll take you guys along with me and I'm sorry that half this vlog already is in my car but promise next few clips should be good ones and then I'll also vlog when we go trick-or-treating so see you guys in a little Target right now I'm in the Magnolia section and guys I think these mugs are new. At least I've never seen them, but I'm so tempted to buy some. You guys know I'm obsessed with mugs. Look how cute. It's like a off-white and then it has like gold specks all around. They have in different colors. They also have it in like this like forest green kind of color with gold specks and then like a minty green one. They're so cute and they're only $6 each, $5.99. I think it's a pretty good price and they have this one too. It's like a bunch of trees, like forests kind of i also really like these mugs this one says joy and then there's another one that says gather so those are really cute they have a few new things here all they have to match the mug it's so cute these little plates the plates are 4 dollars so those are really cute they're starting to pull out like christmas stuff and i'm loving everything i have these I have the little spoons, measuring spoons, and measuring cups, but I'm about to go to Hobby Lobby. I think I'm going to do a shop with me and try to upload it later on today. Oh, they have a clearance section as well. i try to upload it later today because I haven't uploaded, I think, like in three days now. So, oh, they have more clearance. All right, go down this aisle and then head out because it is a little after one. I'm going to have to head back to my side of town by two o'clock. What are these? These are originally 15, they're 748. They look like little um to put plants in it, like a pot plant. Mm. And Madison, or not Madison, Ryan broke. I'm so sad. My big vase I used to have next to my fireplace that I bought from Target that I got for a really good deal. Ryan broke it on accident. He knocked it over. I really like this too. Well, they have this soft blanket, but they have a bunch of stuff on clearance. So check out your Target for clearance items. I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see it a little better, but I'm gonna head out and go to Hobby Lobby. All the stuff they have on clearance over here. I'm trying to hurry up and record because I hear some workers. I don't know if I'm getting trouble recording, but so yeah, they have a bunch of stuff, but and I really like this blanket. I am obsessed with throw blankets, so I don't know if it's supposed to be in here because it doesn't have like a clearance sticker on it, but that's cute. Are you ready to go? You're making a mess with all those chips. And she took off her shoe. Ready to go? Tree. You guys, I'm in Dollar Tree and I finally found this in my Dollar Tree. I have to share with you guys the Yes to Tomatoes clay mask. So they have a bunch of different ones. They have a charcoal one. Once they have that charcoal one, then they have 
a moisturizing one. They have one for like acne, for soothing. So I'm gonna pick up a few of these. And Madison, what are you trying to get? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey guys, so it is now a few hours later and I am walking down the street to a friend's house. She's going to have like a little Halloween event or a little Halloween get together at her house for the kids. They're gonna do like a Halloween um, activity. And then I think she said she's making like hot dog, hot dog, hot dog mummies for the kids to eat. So we're gonna go over there for a little bit, hang out with her for about an hour or so until Robert gets home. I it's think we'll probably go straight, straight. No oh, real quick. Get, stay on the sidewalk. So yeah, we're gonna stay over there for probably about an hour, hour and a half, and then head back home, and then change into our costumes, and then go trick-or-treating. So that is the plan right now. And the reason why I'm walking is because she only lives a few houses down from me. She lives like about, I would say, um, oh, big bump. She lives about, I would say like four houses down from me. So um, yeah, might as well just walk because it's a really beautiful day out. It's not too cold. It's also not hot as well. So thought it was the perfect day to go walking, get a little exercise, and yeah. Anyways, Kate, oh, kitty cat. I thought you said Kate. That is a kitty cat. Kitty cat's watching us. All right, guys, we're about to get to her house. So I will vlog a little bit once we get into her house and the kids do the activities. What was that? Stay with you so you don't get lost. I see Beth's house. Do you know which one's her house? Which one? Do not cross the street without me though. Madison has to go in the stroller because you guys know she never wants to walk anytime we take walks. So I just put her in the stroller. But we're getting to Beth's house. It's right here in the corner. Are you playing? Are you finding eyeballs? <laughs> don't eat it though. It just has olive oil on it. <laughs> all of our all in a little bit of journey hands Nobody's even twisted <laughs> I don't want to play. Look, she just put my hand in it. I don't want to play with it. Feel it, mom. Feel it. Okay, I feel it. I feel it. Mix it, because he likes. He likes pineapple. He likes pineapple. It's a good sensory. I just thought it was kind of like that. Sure. Madison's looking for eyeballs and spaghetti. Right there. Right there. It's an eyeball. That was a good idea. I'm gonna make it Do you like it? Oh, I like it. <laughs> so that means Miss Julie did a good job making your drink. Can you say thank you, Miss Julie? Thank you. That Julie's over there. Spaghetti with eyeballs, guac, chips, and salsa. No, that's not yours. We have some like, drinks. Okay. Really cute. Um, some festive napkins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You having fun, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I just got it. Just got it. I don't know if you guys can. So it's super dark. I don't know if you guys can see us, but we're walking up to the pool to meet up with some friends. What? <laughs> we're never gonna get to the pool with him and his costume. He's wobbling. Weeble wobbling. Did you say trick or treat, Ryan? <laughs> Alright, come on. You got we gotta go. Hey guys, so it is now the next day after Halloween. It is officially November 1st and I just want to jump on here really fast to end the vlog. I did not end the vlog yesterday. You guys know I am horrible at that. But also, we got home pretty late from trick-or-treating. We're out for a while. We're out for probably like two hours trick-or-treating. The kids had an amazing time. And Madison actually did really good this year. Last year, she was not happy. But this year, every house that we would get to, like she was in the stroller most of the time. But she did walk up to a lot of doors. Super excited. So that made my heart so happy to see her happy and actually participate because she usually does not participate in a lot of things so to see her actually participating with the other kids was so cute so I did get maybe like one or two clips so I will insert that as well so hopefully you guys had an amazing safe Halloween if you guys do celebrate Halloween hopefully you guys had a great night I know we did so 
yeah this is going to be the end of my halloween vlog hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please remember to give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you have not already i would love to have you join my youtube family and i will see you guys next time bye